Welcome gamers to Super Beard Bowl Season 2. Each month, we're doing an all new 8 episode series complete with a beginning and an end as voted on by you, our loyal viewers. Without paying a single penny, everyone who watches will be able to vote on one of four show ideas and once you narrow it down from four to two, the Beard Bowl Patreon tier will then choose between the top two for which show gets made into a full eight episode series. This month, the winning series is... Well, we just we just picked a bunch of games we like to relax to. And uh, we're going to play those games and answer questions from you guys. <clears throat> just sit back, relax, and enjoy. We're back with another episode of Super Beard Bowl Comfort Games. Mm. Playing Mario Welcome Kart. Welcome to it. Yeah. Mar Mario Kart <laughs> real. Mario Kart in real life? Question mark? Exclamation points? VR? Alex Brent Gerard. Hi. How you doing? That's Ted's us. Ted's here too. What up, Ted? Hello. Ted, give us a quest. <laughs> Please. Your, your Please. quest Please. is to find the Holy Grail. No, not not that kind of quest. We're here playing games we like to relax. I'm playing Gran Turismo Sport, and Ted has questions from the patrons to ask us about ourselves. First question: Hooperton the Pious asks. Yeah. For everyone. Hooperton the Pious. Hooperton the Pious. That's a handshake. Big big friend of the pod. <laughs> the Pat. The Patreon. Pat. Pat. Damn the pat uh, all right. Friend of the Pat. <laughs> friend of all the right. Pat. That's like so right, confusing. You, you did it, Ted. We're officially retiring. Friend of the pod. <laughs> <laughs> Friend of the Pat is like triple confusing because Patrick. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, he's, did we never did that, did we? You just reminded me of something I haven't thought of in probably over a year. What? I don't. Ted, I think you'll remember better than anybody. Was it that Bradley didn't used to like meatball subs? Is that correct? Or the fact that we always used to like. Tell him to get us meatball subs or something. We, what used was to, the we, used, we used to tell him to get us meatball subs, even though he didn't like meatball subs. He didn't like the meatball what? subs. I just remember. I just remember at a certain point, <clears throat> we were waiting for Bradley to forget about the bit with the meatball subs. We were playing yeah, it, it so low and slow, and then I remember we were planning on one day just buying one for him. No, we were gonna buy like nine of them for him. <laughs> like everybody was gonna give him a meatball sub. And we never did. We never did. We lost our it's chance. It's not too late. COVID somebody, took it from us. Somebody made him go out and get them and, like, ruin the joke. I remember. Oh, I think it was Chris. He I has. Oh, yeah, I think, that's I think, right. I think Chris, Chris made him go get a, get a meatball subs. That's right. Because we were, like, the bit was, like, Bradley, can you do, like, the bit was that Bradley was always willing to go out and do whatever we asked, which is ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. Which is stupid. Like, at a certain point, it gets ridiculous. So we kept asking for more ridiculous things. And at a certain point, we were like, Bradley, I need you to do me a favor. Go out. It would be after a string of stuff like, Bradley, I need you to go downstairs and find this game and put it in this case. And also maybe bring a couple HDMI. Is that okay? He's like, you got it. Like, also, Bradley, before you come back up, I need you to go out and get me three meatball subs. Okay? And he'd be yeah, like, okay. Yeah. And at first, he was like, oh, uh, okay, I'll do that. And we're like, Bradley, don't fucking do that. <laughs> and then it just became a bit of like we say that and he just smiles because he knows. We just keep well, yeah, we just kept asking just, we kept asking him and then like in the end the last sentence was always like and then we need a meatball sub. Right, right. Yeah. Well he just he just got out of the uh he had a little procedure recently, so you know, maybe you could send him a little well wish meatball package. Is he okay? Oh, there you go. What? Oh he's fine, yeah, yeah. He just had uh, something removed off his face. Oh, was it that smile? He had his smile removed. Like Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Shawn Michaels, oh my god, dude. He yeah. lost his what? smile? Yeah, wow. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, wrestling. It's wrestling shit. It's wrestling, yeah. it's oh, wrestling okay. shit. Okay, all right. <laughs> Forget it, baby, it's wrestling. Uh, listen. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> Pooperton was about to ask a question, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, Pi Pooperton the Pious. Pooperton the Pious asks, for everyone, including Ted, are you superstitious about anything, even if it's small slash silly and you know it's not rational, uh. please share. What an excellent, excellent question. Uh, I've been way more scared that people are going to break into my car ever since somebody broke into my car. That is not superstition. That is stition, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, what are the odds that somebody's going to break into my car again? High. No. Well, medium then. 
I had a tent in my car. That's why somebody broke in. Oh right. my god, I hit this car. Just dented it. Fair enough. Like a monster. But like, I guess what I'm saying car. is, as unlikely as it may be, I definitely would not categorize that as superstition. It's not irrational. Fair. Uh, you know, like if you get burned, you're going to be a little bit shy. I get that. You know what I mean? Is this, is this yeah. like is this kind of like how when Bradley said that like he can't get he can't look at dogs in the eyes because he thinks they're gonna like control him? <laughs> control him? Yeah, remember that conversation? <laughs> we had a <laughs> what? Do you got you remember this right, Brad? That's why you're laughing. <laughs> I'm not crazy. We had somebody this. tell me about this more now. I've so never heard of this. We uh, we had on a completion. It was like it was a completionist podcast. Uh, one one of the one of the ones we did on the Patreon. Yeah, and uh, it was me. I think it was me, Bradley, and uh, uh, Fraser and Brett. And so we I were, can listen to this. Uh, I think you can. It's somewhere online. I know for sure. At the very least, it's on the drive somewhere for yeah, just yeah, yeah, me yeah. to listen and, to. And right? one, yeah, okay. one of the last questions was like that we got was like, what what is like <laughs> something that is a similar question? Like, what is something that you know is not true, but you really believe, regardless of what anyone says? And Bradley's was, I can't look at a dog in the face for too long because I feel like it's going to control me. And all of us were like, what? what? He's like, yeah, like if I if I look at a dog and I connect with the dog, I'm oh. worried the dog's gonna control me. What is it? What must it have been like? I just figured everything here. out. I just figured everything out. I know why Bradley is the way he is. You, you remember the movie Us, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna spoil that movie for anybody who hasn't seen it, but like, what I have to do is kind of a big reveal, like this bit, but like. I think the reason Bradley's afraid of that is because he's not who he seems he is. I think Bradley might be a dog. Like, I think Bradley, his soul is that of a dog. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I think Bradley used to be and knows something that we don't know. And now he's just trying to prevent it from being reversed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But that's why he's like always smiling and always happy to go fetch shit. I think Bradley might be a dog. (gasps) I just can't. I just can't believe. Bradley's just a nice guy, is what it is. And we just. I just can't believe that he that lived way, in a not. house with a with 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 Wallace, the dog that looks at you. Like that's his thing. <laughs> Wallace loves to sit about six and a half feet away from you and just and, stare at you all okay, day. Okay, let me ask you this: How often did Bradley interact with Wallace enough to where he, they'd be in the room all the time? Not a lot, but also like he See? didn't interact with me a lot, and I lived here too. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were supposed to be answering this question, but Jesus Christ, that's too funny. Wow. Holy shit. That's uh, excellent. That's excellent. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I have superstitions. Like, I close doors around my house a lot that don't need to be open or closed. I think that, like, I think do- closed doors are better than open doors. Hmm. Interesting. I'm trying... Lightly. I'm, I'm trying to be less superstitious in my as I age... Huh. But I th- I still hold on to knock on wood, and I hate that I do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ditto. Sometimes I'll do that. You're absolutely right. I will bust out a knock on wood. It's true. Come on. What do I get? Uh, I just... Uh, I want that muscle car back there. Oh. Man. Ooh, that one's, not, that one's not bad. Oh, look at Let's that. get a GT. Did you just unlock this? Yeah, every day you get like you do your daily workout, which is like driving a marathon's length, mm-hmm. and if you do it, you get a free car. Wow. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ, that's funny, dude. Uh, <laughs> I. What the fuck? What did I just see? So I'll show you. Yeah. So did I just so, see the Spice Girls with clown noses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the 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 other thing about this game is that there's like a like info element and you can like look at like the world at a glance on a timeline there's like this like amazing like car history situation show me the spice girls please i'm trying to sh- find the the element yeah okay so this is this is oh the calendar God. and it, so it's, it's just, like it's whoa. just like a living living it's just like a museum of the automotive industry it's like cars and then also like stuff other than cars to like put the cars in context. Yeah. Like the history uh, of automotive stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 
So like if you go to the nineties, I'm sure. Where are the spice ones? Yeah, there, there they are. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mystery solved. There's Thank Dolly, you for that. There's wow. Dolly the sheep. What the fuck is this? There's uh, Tiger Woods winning the Masters. This is and fascinating. So like, this is a great video game. I Harry mean, Potter I, came I out. guess like it's like oh, by the way, we're gonna show you a history of uh, like you know cars, the automotive industry. Like okay, makes sense. And you know what to go along with that? We're just gonna let you know what was going on in the world at the time each of these cars was released. Like okay, if you like love cars, or if you even if you don't love cars, this game will make you. This will like foster a love for cars in you. Wow. It's a, it, the person who made this, you can tell, just like is in love with cars. It's so delightful. Ooh, these oh. look brutal. Look at these. Well, maybe we should move on to another question then. You have one for us, Ted, please? Yes. Uh, Sleepy Skullhead asks mm -hmm. For everyone, Ted included, what's your favorite pizza? Mm. I feel like we've already answered this one at some point. Favorite uh, my, pizza. my favorite pizza is a. Thin crust, pepperoni, sausage, and jalapeno. That is my That's vibe. solid. If I had to design my own perfect pizza, it would definitely be some sort of pan pizza. I don't understand why all pizzas aren't pan pizzas. Just make all the toppings go all the way to the side, please. Fuck like it. the Detroit style? No, not necessarily deep dish, but like pan pizza is defined as like, you know, it's the shit that's traditionally cooked in that pan and it doesn't have a traditional crust. Like the toppings go all the way to the edge. And I'm like, yeah, yeah just fucking do that. It's delicious. Uh, <clears throat> so I want my toppings all over the edge and I don't want it thin crust or anything. Uh, I'll take a little deep dish or I'll take just regular pan style. Doesn't matter. Um, uh, a pepperoni sausage, mushroom, lots of garlic. And uh, with some cheese in that crust, and then I'm good. I like I like like an Italian situation. Like if I'm looking at my my behavior, like oh man, I thought I was clear of that car. If I'm looking at my behavior of like what I want from pizza, mm -hmm. right? There's a spot called Prime Pizza up on Fairfax that I order from all the time because they do a thing called the Grandma Slice, mm. which is a pan pizza, right? It's mm -hmm. like that Italian style, like when your grandma made pizza at home kind of pizza slice uh but it has like the canned tomatoes on top mm -hmm. instead of tomato sauce and it's got like olive oil garlic instead of tomato sauce like you just put like tomatoes on there and they just sort of like become the tomato sauce in a way <laughs> when you put the oil and the and the and the spices on it just sort of all and you get like just something basic like i don't like to overdo it like I'm I'm all for like, you know, Pizza Hut five toppings deliciousness. But like, if I'm ordering just for myself, I'll order like one slice that's got like tomatoes, cheese, basil, garlic, and stuff, and then like maybe some pepperoni or some sausage. You know. Hmm. All right. Ow. Ted, what about you? Oh, that fucked me up because my nose is itchy. Um. Oh, oh, God, it's. I guess my go-to for. Just like the ability of most pizza places is just like pepperoni mushroom. Mm -hmm. And then I'll put like spicy sauce on top. <clears throat> yep. I'm surprised you like mushrooms because you're the guy that doesn't yeah. like onions. And I figured you were just like a picky eater guy because mushrooms mm -hmm. are usually very people are usually very temperamental about mushrooms. High on the list. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that dude I've got also, a ring a ding there. I've also yeah. been trying to do like less cheese or no cheese and then extra sauce. Mm hmm. You mean like in your diet, right? No, like you're not. Preferred. You're not like suddenly. I believe pizza doesn't have need cheese on it. No, no, that like that is it. Yeah, like I believe it. You know, <laughs> I, I will say like back in the day, like that's more accurate. Is it really the, not more the delicious. full size? The the full coverage cheese is like a you know a more modern evolution on pizza. It just seems like too much most of the time, and then I get bad experiences with like. All, che all cheese and like barely any sauce and it's like, ugh. Mm. A lot of people like it that way. You know, that, that's the media pizza though, highly customizable. True, true, yeah. true. The thing that wilds me out is like in a lot of Italian spots where you get pizza, you know, you'll order it out of a case. Uh, oh, really? Up like, front. A, like a briefcase? No, like, like you would <laughs> a donut. 
A display case. Yeah, and then they like heat it up for you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. like a totally different vibe. Mm-hmm. Oh, good question. You, you could get yeah. like egg on pizza in Love in it. Europe. That's that kachapuri shit. Yeah, I'm into that. I'll fuck oh, that up. So good. Hit me with another quench. Now I want pizza. Oh, I like, I like, I like I chicken and artichokes and garlic and spinach and arugula on there. I like seafood pizza too. Can we have another question, question there, Ted, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ur- Erdem Dervish Ali asks, what is a game that everyone, parentheses, friends, media, etc., mm-hmm. and parentheses, love, but you could not get into? Oh, popular game that you ended up not liking. God of War. You didn't the like God of War? Mean? Yeah, I didn't dislike it. I just, like, I played it for, like, ten hours, and then I was like, I'm good on this for now. I'll probably come back to it, but, like, it never, like... I didn't get sucked into it. I recognize that it's like a masterpiece of like design and and stuff, but I just I personally couldn't like it didn't motivate me to play through it. Mm. I wasn't sure where I was supposed to go or what to do at first. Could you read the end of the question again exactly, Ted, please? Uh what is a game that everyone loves right, right, right. but you could not get into? Could not get into so that implies I think that implies that you tried it but didn't like it right yeah yeah and I, okay. I don't think it's a bad game either like you know what I mean like it, I, I'm not like nobody should like this I just like yeah. I'm just trying didn't. to differentiate like there's something that I was never interested in or something that I was interested in hence I tried it but then found out that it wasn't for me because if it's the latter then I mean, the answer is Devil May Cry. I used to love Devil May Cry, but, you know, things change. Time changes. People change. And I tried Devil May Cry 5, and uh, I'm like, nah, eh, it's not for me anymore. Yeah, but I people get that. really like that game. And, you know, it makes sense. It's good. Yeah. yeah. I finally ended up playing it. Beat it in a day. Mm. Wow. It was all right. Fun. Um, I think for me... It's it's probably somewhere between, uh, like Monster Hunter, and that's a good one. And uh, dude, like MMOs in general. Can I throw I just, my hat Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter as well? Like, I feel like I tr- Monster Hunter is like one for a lot of people. Yeah, I tried it, and I'm like, this is cool, but it's definitely not for me. I think I think my biggest problem yeah, with it same. is that it, it kind of fronts as this fantastical hunting thing where you like <clears throat> kill these awesome monsters, but the gameplay is realistic. Mm. So it's like it, it it I had a hard time kind of feeling like what I was doing mattered. That's actually mm. the reason why I ended up liking um that one game that that Dauntless. Uh, Dauntless. Yeah, Dauntless is is so much more my style because each character class and weapon type and thing feels like the advantages are are baked into the gameplay of of having fun interesting moves whereas the monster hunter it feels like you're actually trapping a, a monster pretty realistically and like if you swing you are overthrowing yourself and those aren't bad things right those are people like those things about monster hunter but i think I, i'd rather have a more uh anime action packed time than like a realistic slog of trying to throw a net on like a a raptor you know well i would say like the thing that you like right is there in monster hunter it's it it the, the problem is that in monster hunter i don't even really feel like the game begins till you've been playing it for like 35 hours which to me yeah. is just like always the same thing i tell people who are like should i try monster hunter is like it's a personality thing more than it is like is the game good like are you gonna put in that time to like really like to like learn monster hunter like Mm -hmm. i i don't think it's something that you should do unless you're really passionate about it yeah not gonna be satisfying too i also get really sick of people just being like when are you gonna complete monster hunter me (laughs) all right all right you got me you got me kid you got me Burgess Meredith. 
Yeah, I can't believe that uh, he came back just to fuck with you. Yeah. Wallace, come on, bud. Is he going to play now? He's he's not playing relaxing games, that's for sure. <laughs> Good question. I can't believe I got first place on that one like right away. I'm a little I'm a little ashamed of my my uh, my sportsmanship right now. Uh, but like I'm not fully concentrating on the racing so it's all good it's just like I feel like I stole that last one hmm. uh, what do we got we got nothing man got another quench uh yeah yeah sounded like you were about to make one up <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Okay, so uh, this one comes from Ted. <laughs> Ted oh shit! Tuned rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Canterbury Jonathan asks for everyone, including Ted. Do you prefer Christmas movies or Halloween movies? Also, thank you for the entertainment and distraction you guys give during this pandemic. Yeah, no problem, dude. Thanks for watching. Yeah, man. Uh, mm. that's a weird question. I've never heard that before. I guess I don't care. Uh, no, I. Uh, let me no, put it this I'm way. with if, I'm with Brett. I don't care. If I had, if I looked at all the Halloween themed movies and put them in a giant pile, and then take all the the Christmas themed movies and put them in a giant pile, like I'm just weighing the quality of them, like how much I enjoy them in my head. I think I definitely skew towards Halloween. It's not like I go, ooh, a Halloween theme or a movie that takes place on Halloween. It's not that. It's just that, like, I'm just thinking about all those fucking Hallmark Christmas movies and, like, mm -hmm. that's just gotta weigh it terribly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's probably yeah. a lot more bad Christmas movies than there are Halloween movies. That's just what I'm purely, saying. You know? Purely by volume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're probably right. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with Halloween. Even though there's some shitty Halloween movies, too, man. My instinct was to say Christmas. Uh, for some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, but that's not to say that there aren't a bunch of Halloween movies which I love, like Halloween. Do you, you want to? Uh, do you want to have like a not a mock trial, but do you want to like try and go head to head and see who runs out of good movies? Yes. Like, okay. Yes. Do you want to take Halloween? You want to take Christmas? I want to take Christmas. I'll take Halloween. Uh, you want to go first or second? Die Hard. The Crow. <laughs> um, Miracle on 34th Street. Ernest Scared Stupid. Uh, <laughs> it's the Santa Claus. I'm going to just pull this out and just say Halloween, the whole franchise, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, my God. Shane Black. Uh, like Lethal Weapon 2. You're claiming Lethal what? Weapon 2? No, which one's the Christmas one? Uh, Whatever the Whichever one is the Christmas Lethal Weapon? Uh, I don't know which one that is, actually. Is there a Christmas Lethal Weapon? The first one? It's either the first one or the second one, I think. What's all the toilet bombs? That's that number two. two. But th that, that was just on last night. I don't think that's at Christmas time. I could I be can't wrong. Remember. I could be wrong. You know, you know what about Shane Black is good? Have you seen Predator? No. The Predator? No. The new one that came out a couple years ago? Yeah. No. Definitely a Halloween movie. And oh, really? Very enjoyable as a result. Amanda's, the climax, bro Amanda's brother did props on it. Mm. Yeah. The, the climax involves a kid wearing a real Predator helmet going out for trick-or-treating. Yeah, right, right. I heard about that. It's uh, good vibes. I'm going to go ahead and claim uh, this one. I'm just going to claim The Nightmare Before Christmas before you can take it. Dude. <laughs> that's, that's so much more Halloween than Christmas. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> Is it? Yes. Yeah. I feel like it. I'd say, I feel like I'd say it's two thirds Halloween. But he learned such a lesson. Okay, how about Muppet Christmas Carol then? That's, That's fine. a good one. That's fine. Um, what's a fucking Halloween movie? Oh, Jesus. Hocus Pocus. Oh, nice call. Ooh, good shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ta Ta oh, Turtle Man. Uh, what's what that movie that? actually called? Oh, jingle oh, jingle oh, All the Way. <laughs> Ta Ta Turtle Man. Oh, Jingle Ta -ta, All the Way. Ta Ta Turtle Man. Yeah. That's uh, a good call. What is that movie? What is that movie Jingle called? Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way. Uh. Oh, uh, uh, does this count? What is, when is the Day of the Dead in Mexico? 
like November 1st or something? That's what I thought. I'm going to go ahead and count Coco. Coco's excellent. Oh my god. Ooh, Coco yeah. is like... Yeah, that's, yeah, a that's literally about Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, right. Which is not Halloween, I know, but like, they're fucking yeah, close. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. They're they're it's like, adjacent. Oh, it's I'm going yeah. to say Klaus then. Hairpin, hairpin, hairpin. Uh, so yeah, there's some really shitty Christmas and Halloween movies, you guys. That's that's real. What was the one that what was the one that we watched recently that we realized was a Christmas movie after the fact? Uh, was it the Gooby Bear? Was it? I can't remember. No, it was the uh, Garbage Day. I think that day. was Halloween. Garbage <laughs> Day. Garbage Day. Silent no, Night. That's like, Night. That's like a fucking Santa ass movie, though, right? Yeah, it is. It is. There was some movie that we were watching that it was like, oh my god, this is like set at Christmas. But I can't remember what it mm. was. Probably Gooby. Yeah. Jesus I thought Gooby was Halloween too. Didn't he like walk with Gooby on Halloween? They probably, yeah, they probably yeah, did Because they, they got into a scary movie. Wow, it's just like Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hard to tell which is which. I think we're done, you guys. Yeah. Thanks, thanks you know for what? watching. I feel good, man. Thank you guys for joining me out on the race course, man. For sure. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us. Next That's time, oh, we're, we're going to let Ted <laughs> play some games. Aw, shit. Oh, yeah. I can't wait so to get, see. I I especially can't wait to see because I know what he's going to play, and I, I, I've, I've been dying to see it, to be honest. <laughs> we appreciate why you guys. I made this whole show. Oh, it's just been, we should just do eight, eight episodes of Ted then. Fuck it. I, I, I literally made it just so I could watch Ted play this game. Uh, all right. Just to throw me a bone. Yeah, throw Ted a bone should be the name of the show. <laughs> uh, we appreciate you all hanging with us. Thank you, man. Yeah, see you guys later. Bye bye. Uh so here we are once again. Bearded men have reached the end. Well, I don't know what comes next. All I know is you made it this far. This is your end time. Next episode, hope you enjoy the show. S U P E R. Beer Bros. <laughs>